Before moving to widgets, make sure you have all the files for making a widget. So for it, go to my Facebook page that is facebook.com slash Samsung Wave Mobiles. There in the left side you will get a page like this editing resizing developing widget click on it and download these files to extract the file winrar to run eclipse java run environment offline installer or 64 bit eclipse galileo part 1 part 2 part 3 in addition you can download pdf tutorial So after downloading loading all the files, we need to extract them. To extract, we need a program called WinRAR and a password. The password is in the file's name. This is the password, my site. Uh, copy it for further use. You can extract the Eclipse in any folder because it is a portable type and you don't need to install anything but you need a program called java run environment so i am extract extracting it in program files to extract them double click any file and hold the folder in the winrar and release in empty area now paste the password password should be matching and it will take some time now it is extracted so it's time to launch the eclipse Double click the Eclipse exe file It will take some time in the first load Now it is asking where the workspace should be. Let it default and check this for so that no further pop up come while launching the Eclipse. Now without bothering other things we directly go to workspace. So now here we have to do all the works. Now I am importing a pre-existing widget. It is in my desktop. So choose the Samsung and widget. Click next and browse the widget file. This is my widget. Finish. Now expand this widget to edit any file double click on it and it will open in the Spain. This is the index file where all the parameters are specified like uh, what is the title, where the image source is and etc. What text should be shown etc. This is the icon file which is shown in the widget edit time. like Just like an icon. Uh, these are the images. All the images. Yeah. <laughs> 
this is the style sheet where all the widths uh, like font size color how the effects come trans transitions tables etc all are defined here uh, you can edit it according to your device screen so that it don't ex um, go beyond your mobile screen this is the basic thing which we have to edit in resizing a widget I don't know about these JavaScript libraries now we must add a device before export a widget um, for wave if you are choosing this and you can choose according to your preference or mobile I am choosing these three mob models now they have come this is a project file in which the width of the widget is defined if it let's launch a widget or preview it I am previewing it for wave uh, there are as, as we haven't edited according to the screen this is the screen which is showing how our widget will work in our mobile just like an em emulator now how to resize an image if it is a jpg file then this method can be applied otherwise in png we have to use another program like photoshop so that it may no lose its transparency just say it is a jpg file then open it with paint go to resize and choose pixels change according to yours and save it see it is resized update the project so that all the changes have made now again preview it uh, see here the changes up came this um, we need to specify a lower width and height according to the width, uh, mobile screen so that no error come while installing a widget now I am exporting the widget for package and choose your mobile so now the widget exporting have done for the widget is in workspace so we have to go to the workspace folder uh, that is in administrate and workspace in packages for which you have exported here Thanks for watching and sorry for my bad English and hope you will do something good. Here also we can do make changes in images. So